welcome to my channel welcome back thank you for stopping by thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for commenting all of your comments are received with love okay thank you for stopping by again this is lifestyle which is versatile and this is where we show you all the tips you need to know from the perspective of a single parent and in this versatile and you're in my channel in a moment I'll be telling you what today's episode is about don't go nowhere don't do that Welcome back. Yes, this is still lifestyle which is versatile if you are just joining. So like you know, many of us are actually in quarantine, right? Lockdown at different areas. And like I told you, I am based in Nigeria. I am Nigerian, proud to be Nigerian. No, no hates whatsoever. But as far as this lockdown happened and since it started, I got stuck in a particular location somewhere in Nigeria. And do you know where that location is? Well, I'll tell you, somewhere in Niger State. But trust me, it has been so funny and that's one of the reasons why I have come to do an outdoor um, view, give you an outdoor view, the beautiful places here in Niger State. But you know what? In this particular episode, I will be taking you through, we'll be going around the market just to show you exactly what the place is like in this lockdown. The, but the most recent is the fact that bikes have been banned, so you can't even see bikes. So whatever you have to do, you do on your foot if you do not have a car. Imagine how hard life will be here. But you know what? All the same. I'll be taking you on tour in this city in Niger State. Yes, it's a city of Israel because it's got its market, it's got schools, it's got a lot of beautiful places, sights and sounds you can see. And of course, you know, this channel is basically about sights, sounds, food, want more books, you know, books review and a lot of other fun things. So I'll be taking you on. I've actually enjoyed my stay here. This few weeks I've been in this town. I would like to show you more sites and show you how the people are actually managing in this lockdown and probably we'll talk to a few people to see how they feel about this whole lockdown thing and how they've been managing through it you don't want to miss it i'll be right back okay so just stay tuned enjoy the views enjoy the in uh, interviews enjoy every bit of it love you Yes, so as you can see, this is one of the streets here in Suleja local government. So I have actually been stopped here in Suleja. I came over to see a friend and afterwards got stopped. This is actually one of the streets called Al Hassan Bako Drive, one of the very busy streets in the daytime. But as you can see how scanty this road is, very few cars actually have to pass. And now the only people who access the roads are those who privately own vehicles such as cars bikes or buses and mostly those who maybe do business or little essential businesses within the town so i'll take you to other areas where you have you see um a bit of um blockades along the road and maybe the market we should try the market too so you see what i mean by the lockdown but don't don't get it twisted, the lockdown has actually been lifted, eased off a bit, but these are the measures that are still in place. Not forgetting that the use of face mask is also quite essential. Hand wash as well as sanitizing with a hand sanitizer. I'll be back and just stay tuned. Oh, this is the canary bird. Oh, 
No wonder. <laughs> is that small? And this is a parrot. Wow. Now you don't have no face marks like this. This is parrot, then this one. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, this is okay. Yes. Uh huh, I thought as much. Wow. Hi, Mr. Hi. 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 Come and see tortoise. That's look at another one. See tortoise. This is pigeon, right? Then that should be like a dove or a pigeon. That's the same. Uh huh. Pigeon dove. See them doves are actually the white ones. Oh. See it's alive. Oh my god. So you guys have a. Thank you for staying tuned this is still lifestyle which is versatile as you can see behind me those are beautiful scenes right right now i am at the spot called the suleja club at the top of the hill and that's why you can see that very beautiful view behind now this spot called the suleja club is not so far from the market the suleja international market also known as babangida market also in case you've ever heard of Suleja, this is actually where the original Abuja started from. Ask anybody, Abuja actually started up from here. And that's why you have the former NTA of Abuja. Just behind us, we passed it a little while back. This is how beautiful, this is actually a very historic city. And it is mostly accommodated by the Bagi people and as well as Nupe people. This community is so fun, but of course, it's now mixed with Christians, Muslims alike, Igbos, Yorubas, Hausas, Doma, Koki people from every part of Nigeria all have it here. That's how beautiful. So we're actually going by the market right now and you would see exactly how this um, environment looks when there is no movement. Today actually is um, one of those very steep, steep days such that there's not supposed to be any activity. Tomorrow is the ease up day because they always have it here um, Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays as the easing up days where you have to do go about your businesses. But today um, we will be, it's not, a, a, it's not an eased up day so we're actually going by the market to see what it looks like. All right, see you in a bit. Oh, thank you for staying, staying tuned, standing by. This is still day one of my tour in Suleja Town. Right here is where we call the Murada Plaza, popularly known plaza in Suleja very jam-packed with people, things, wares, 
going on businesses going on but here right here is very empty as you can see this Murada Plaza is actually is actually very much opposite the Babangida International Market in Suleja and this is how scanty it can be in this place Okrika wears are being sold away what you call second-hand clothing um, you have the telecommunication businesses where the fixed phones and buying new phones if you want to baby wears and all of that shoes and all but this is how scanty it can be just because it's a no business day this goes to show that people are really adhering to these quarantine um, guidelines and please keep being safe we're going to still show you all the scenes and I'm sure you're enjoying yourself let's keep going so here behind me as you can see is one of the back entrances of the Babangida International Market, not far from the Murada Plaza, as I earlier told you. And behind me, you can see activity going on, actually nothing. This place is a very full spot when it's market day. Market days happen every day, but due to this quarantine period, we've been asked to stay indoors, not do businesses, and this is what this market looks like, deserted. And over here, you can see the blockades that shows that you can't even have access into the market to come do business in any way. The market security, the market security would not let you in at all. So this is how fun it's been and I promise you a day two where I'll be coming to show you what the market looks like on a day that is free business days. So you don't want to miss this. Please thank you for following. Keep following, keep subscribing, sharing this content. If you like it, please comment and um, give a thumbs up and also click the notification button so that you are told when next, you are informed when next a hot content drops. My name is Eunice Versatile and this is Lifestyle with Eunice Versatile. Thank you for touring with me on day one with Eunice Versatile tour in Suleja, Niger State. Thank you, much love, peace and namaste.